Hello and welcome. Welcome friends. Welcome family. Welcome newcomers and those of you that are returning. Welcome to my sacred space and my home that I prepared for us to do this today. I'm Olivia and this is Tarot and Coffee with Olivia. I do do private readings and if you would like to get a more detailed reading, hit my link tree in the description of this video and let the adventure begin. If you are watching on Instagram, you can look for that in my bio. Okay, I'm going to begin. This is a pick a card reading and I've placed card toppers on the cards to make it easy to choose. Um, we will go over them uh, right now. I'm going to show them to you up close because I do realize they are small and they're kind of far away. So on the first card, we have this beautiful pendant that has mother-child energy, mother energy, which mothers, that includes child. <laughs> and then we have uh, the dream catcher over the second card. Over the third card, we have the tree of life. Let's see if there's a good place to see it. And then last but not least, we have the anchor. And maybe if I put it right there, or maybe if I put it right there, you can see it. And I am going to now turn over our thought of the day, which is going to integrate in with our cards because it is a card in and of itself. The crone. The crone. So I am going to read to you from the Wild Unknown Archetypes guidebook that came with the Kim Kranz deck. Um, the crone. The witch. The old woman. The sage. The crone has seen it all. Nothing frightens or surprises her. She is the final manifestation in the feminine trifecta of maiden mother crone. In her long life, she's witnessed endless cycles of death, sex, failure, rebirth, conflict, and regeneration, giving her the ability to rise above the world of duality. She laughs at notions of good or bad, right or wrong, as she has seen the earth churning, smoldering, taking life and giving life. The crone energy accepts everything in devouring beauty and suffering with the same mouth using their energy to reveal hidden secrets and knowledge. Her energy resides in all of us. Though it is feared by most for its power and unconventional relationship with death and the macabre, awakening the crone is dangerously rich and unapologetically magical. When light, magical, clairvoyant, psychic, intuitive, wise, when dark, vindictive, bitter, isolated, ostracized. Go deeper, Dumavadi, Hecate, Baba Yaga, Lilith. That is our reading from the crone today, and we will incorporate the crone into your reading with your cards as we go. So we are going to start with the pendant here, and we'll go ahead and turn over your card. You have the Eight of Pentacles. This is someone who has learned skills in the beginning towards their financial ideal. This is someone who is taking small steps or making small goals toward their final goal right here. And this often has to do with career. It has to do with money. Career and coin. It can also do have to do with your relationship with humankind or humanity. Um, but I'm feeling more, this is more personal and more having to do with finance and career. Um, coupled with the crone, I would say that if you know someone with this crone energy in your life, there is nothing wrong with discussing your goals with them. They might have some Interesting wisdom to bring that you haven't even thought of. This energy also, the crone energy is also within you today as you, this is your pick a card. So you can reach deep within and find 
some wisdoms, particularly in regard to this, what we're talking about here. What is it that you've been working on? What goal have you been working toward? This is a good success card. It's saying that you do know how to move forward in your financial goals and career. We're going to go ahead and move on to the dream catcher. Turn over the card under the dream catcher. And you have the sun, illumination. The sun shines light on all that is dark. The sun brings vitality, energy, optimism. The sun is just exactly what it is. Shining light where there is darkness. If you have this card today, you're, you're probably feeling it. If you're not feeling it, then what I would suggest is to find some sunshine if you can. Sometimes that's not possible. But if you can find some sunshine and let it shine on your face for a few minutes, go ahead and set your clock. Stand there with your face in the sun for at least a good five minutes. I don't want anybody getting a sunburn, so if you're real sensitive, you know, use your judgment. That's where the crone comes in. Sometimes with the crone and the sun together, um, the light sometimes shines on something that is not, what you perceive to be as positive. So in other words, when you're shining light in the dark, sometimes you see some creepy things or some things that you don't want to see. That's something to pay attention to today. Rather than recoiling from it, take time to look at it because this is a time that you can see things that you don't ordinarily see. And you will gain some wisdom from that. So the next card we're going to turn over is the card that was under the tree of life. And we have the lovers. And in this deck, it looks as though they are depicted as Adam and Eve. As you see the tree of life over here by Eve and the snake. And over here by Adam, the tree of of good and evil, or a.k.a. the tree of knowledge. So in this depiction, we also have an angel looking over them. That's often the case in a most decks with the lovers. This isn't just speaking to newlyweds or couples even. This also speaks to singles. As it speaks to couples, uh, I want to bring in the crone card and also remind you that it doesn't really matter how long you've been together, even if you've been together a very, very long time. The lover's card is meaningful. If you are single and you're saying, why am I getting this lover's card? Does it mean I'm going to meet my lover today? It may. It may mean that. But more importantly... The lover is the lover within you. Are you a good lover? Maybe you feel like you are. So take that, take that love and take that loving energy and feed yourself with it. Utilizing the crown, your inner wisdom to see things that you in a way that you wouldn't normally see them like I want you to actually take yourself on a date if you are single and if you're not it wouldn't be a bad idea to take your current lover on a treat bake him a cake make him dinner give him a massage something little something big And we are, that's a beautiful card. We are going to, oh, and I just want to mention too that we talk about male and female energies here. That doesn't mean male and female in the physical world, okay? So um, these are just the energies that we're talking about. I know this card looks fairly heterosexual, but it doesn't necessarily hold to that. Okay, we're going to, Turn over the card that is under 
the anchor and see where you are. You have the chariot and you have ancient wisdom coming from you from all sides. You have the ancient wisdom from the Sphinx and the ancient wisdom from the crone. And you are moving forward. This is not a card that talks about manifesting through spirit, wishing and something happening. No, this is a card about you actually taking your focus, taking your drive, and actually physically moving forward and pressing forward and making it happen. Look at things from different angles. Ask yourself, do you have the skills? Is your chariot up and running? Have you maintained your vehicle? Are you ready for this journey? Because it is going to take a lot. This is a road trip of life. And when you put the crone in with it, again, like I said, you have this ancient wisdom. But you will move forward faster and in a way that you really don't expect. Especially with this, with this crone card. And with all of you, with any of you, with this crone card, if you have someone... that you trust, that you feel has ancient wisdom, it doesn't won't hurt to talk to them today about whatever it is we are talking about right now. Here we've come to the end of our reading. So this is your food for thought. I hope you found this moment to be just what you needed. Do take what resonates and leaves the rest. But also, please do not make life-altering decisions or changes based on video pick-a-cards, not even this one. I do appreciate you being here, whether you come here often or whether you come here intermittently or whether you just found us today. I do appreciate you, and I hope that you all will come back tomorrow. Thank you for hanging out with me, and do check out other videos on my channel. You guys take care. I look forward to seeing you again soon.